All right, what is up everybody? Dr. Landon here from Spiral Secrets, and I'm here to break down the spirals of... All right, what is up everybody? Dr. Landon here from Spiral Secrets, and I'm here to bring to you episode number six of Spirals in Sports with the GOAT himself, Mr. Tom Brady. Um, obviously, everybody knows who Tom Brady is. He just won a Super Bowl. Uh, I think he's in his 20th year as a quarterback, which is unreal for a football player. Um, and I just want to show you guys how the spiraling in his throwing mechanics are just the same as, um, you know, Brody Smith throwing his, his disc, right? Go check out that video if you haven't seen it. It's just the same as uh, Roy McElroy's uh, golf swing, right? Similar, similar mechanics. It's just the same as John Morant running because these guys are the best movers, um, some of the best movers. I wouldn't say they're the exact best movers. Some of the best movers in the world, they're doing it at such a high level. And that's the only way that you can really have a long career is if you avoid injuries by moving efficiently, by moving safely. And that's gonna basically make you more accurate. It's gonna give you more power. It's gonna give you more durability because you're moving the body as one comprehensive unit and system rather than slicing it apart into eight different pieces and trying to piece it all back together uh, it doesn't work like that training in straight lines doesn't make any sense when the game is all rotations and spirals right so let's check it out mr tom brady coming back for a throw let's see what he does build some momentum in his feet Right, building, 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 building some tension, and then watch this. He's going to shift his weight to that front foot and begin to load uh, this leg here, right? And his whole body will begin to spiral around this way, throwing the ball um, down the field, right? Let's see what happens. Boom, yep, just what I thought, right? Everything rotating around, around this leg here. Right, and it's all coming around, coming around, coming around, coming around, coming around. And what I want you guys to pay extra close attention to is actually his pelvis. Let's go ahead and see how much rotation he gets out of the pelvis and out of the hips. Right here, his hips are aligned, you know, roughly this way, right? When he finishes the throw, he has almost created a complete uh, 90 degree turn here. Right? Is that 90 degrees? Yeah, that's 90 degrees, right? So he's going from here to pretty much here, right? And he's going to continue. It goes even further than that, right? Because his whole body is going to basically rotate around this leg. It's going to come around, come around. The leg's going to come around. The pelvis going to come around. The core is going around. Rib cage, obviously the shoulder, and then the arms are all going around, right? Very, very cool, very efficient. Obviously, he has the track record to, sh to prove it, that he is the GOAT. And let's see it from the side, right? So he's loading, 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 loading. A little bit of a shift from this leg, right? This leg is off the ground, and he's going to load this structure as he shifts his weight forward there, right? So now, uh, now, this leg is going to basically be unweighted and come off the ground as it spirals. And then he's gonna load this leg here, right? And let's see him do it. What I expect to happen is this leg will flip around, flip around, flip around, flip around. This uh, pelvis will come around here. The core will come around, rib cage will come around, the shoulders will come around, and that's gonna whip the ball out this way. And um, yeah, let's see what happens. Right, boom. So watch the watch this leg here. That's flipping around, whipping around. Look at the the back leg. Continue this spiraling motion. Right. Can you guys see now that it's all gate cycle, it's all throwing mechanics. At the elite level, the best of the best all do this either subconsciously. Um, or they just know the secret of spirals, right? Boom. Beautiful. Obviously, he's one of the best, if not the best. All right, so I wanted to include this clip 
um, because I wanted to show you guys that you can be the best and still have a little tiny bit of room for error because Tom Brady, you know, some will say he's not human. Um, you know, I understand what they mean, but he's a human being. He makes mistakes. He's not totally perfect. I'm not totally perfect. There's nobody who moves with perfect mechanics all the time, every time. Uh, but that doesn't mean that it's okay to have poor mechanics, right? There will never be, you know, there will rarely, rarely be a perfect situation. And sometimes you're just not going to, you're just not going to hit your target. But I wanted to show you guys this particular structure here. This is a high risk um, structure for the leg to be in, right? This is a knee valgus. You can tell it's a knee valgus because of basically, uh, it, we're looking at it kind of from the side, but if you saw it front on the front, it would almost, this is exaggerated quite a bit, but it would look more like this, right? You don't want this structure because if anybody is gonna fall on that leg, that's gonna hurt, that's gonna blow up the knee, and you don't really wanna do that, but let's see what Tom does um, to get out of that scenario. So what I expect to happen is he's, you can't really see all of it, but he has gone from this structure on that side, and then he's going to load this structure, right? But instead of uh, flipping the spiral around, he almost cut through the spiral this way, but he's still probably gonna rotate around this side, right? So let's see what he does. He's going to throw, right? So we can see here, barely, that this is his structure, right? So ideally, this leg would come around, come around, come around, come around, so that you don't get that valgus structure and his pelvis is gonna rotate this way, core, rib cage, shoulders all rotating this way, and that's pretty much what he does. And you can really see it a lot better here, right? Pretty much what he does. Let's see where the foot is. There you go. So it eventually came around, right? He kind of took the long way about it, and I'm not a super huge fan of doing that, but you know, it happens, right? So let's watch it again. So the first thing to turn is actually the pelvis. Can you guys see how um, this is like, this is like become one structure, right? So it's a push with the right, right pec, right tricep, right arm, right deltoid. And at the same time, it's a pull with the left uh, lat, left rhomboids. It's when you add one side pushing, one side pulling, that equates to one uh, rotation, right? And you can see him there. It finally actually comes all the way back around, all the way around, right? Around this structure here, right? Awesome. Okay, and this is actually very interesting too because this is him. Remember we were talking about throwing spirals? If you haven't seen that video, go check out the John Morant video that I posted. But it's about throwing spirals from, not spiraling football, um, but spirals from one side of the body, throwing them to the other side of the body. And you can see how he's rotating uh, and thrown this way, right? And he's gonna continue that rotation as he takes a step this way so now he's you know going this way right now on this structure and then at some point he's gonna place that foot down here he's gonna load into this structure and now he's rotating this way right it all happens at the same time um, you know you can't see it happening unless you're looking for it and unless you're trained to look for it Wait, do you see how, you know, right here, he was rotating here. And then all of a sudden, he's rotating the other way. You see? I know if you guys don't see it yet, don't worry. 
I'll continue to take you guys through it, but I'm telling you, once you see it, you can't unsee it. So, uh, well, this is not a great picture of him actually doing anything, but let me show you guys here. So he's getting ready to load the ball, right? Loading into, throw the ball, getting ready to load this structure. His pelvis is facing, oops. His pelvis is facing this way. Uh oh, Siri, Siri wants to talk to me. Okay, so what he's gonna do is he's gonna rotate here, 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 rotate here right? And he's gonna close this gap in his pelvis and he's gonna sling across his body. And maybe we can see that happening here, right? So now this is the next phase of his throwing, right? Here, here, and then slinging across, slinging across, closing that pelvic rotation, closing the core, closing the shoulders and the rib cage, and that's basically producing a spiral out his arm, right? And this is a little bit further down the throw, same thing, right? Rotating here, 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 and then the ball is coming that way. Well, that is it for this episode of Spirals in Sports with Tom Brady, the GOAT, showing you that it doesn't matter if you're playing baseball. I'm going to do a pitcher one next. It doesn't matter if you're playing baseball, football, frisbee, soccer. Oh, I need to do soccer too. Um, disc golf. Whatever it is, if you're trying to throw farther, more accurate, um, spend more time in the game, less pain, more efficiency, you got to start thinking and training in spirals, all right? It doesn't make any sense to take a spiral game and train for spirals in straight lines, right? Does it, if you were to fly um, a plane, like around, around, right? Like, you know, flying like this, you know, hopefully you're not flying like that, but does it make sense if you're driving a car, if the road is winding, right, in spirals, does it make sense to train and drive in a straight line continuously, continuously, continuously? I don't think so because that is insane. Um, the reason why we do a lot of things that we do is just because that's the way it's been done forever. So nobody is willing um, to step up and change these things and people are getting hurt, and um, yeah, we don't want that anymore. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Is it smart, is it stupid? Do you see spirals in your own game? Do you think Tom Brady is old and washed up, or do you think he's going for another one? We will see, but he doesn't look like he's slowing down anytime soon. I think he did have minor surgery, um, but his mechanics obviously have gotten him, you know, his mechanics and his like brain have gotten him to where he is. So I don't think he's going to stop anytime soon. But let me know what you guys thought. I appreciate you. Send us to your favorite Tom Brady Patriots slash, well, I guess, you know, maybe some Patriots fans are salty. But send it to him anyway. All right, guys. Have a wonderful day. Have a good one. Peace.